Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is the lab prototype development uh, instructional uh, session. Today I'm going to teach you about uh, what is required in your final lab assignment, which is a lab prototype development. This assignment has been posted on Blackboard in your lab section. So you can see it in B01 and B02. And it is given here as lab prototype development. It is 5% of your whole course. So please make sure you focus on this assignment and work in a really nice way. It is going to ask you similar knowledge what I have teach you in the last uh, six or seven lab sessions which we took for SOLIDWORKS and engineering drawing and one shape. Inshallah, hopefully you will you have enough tools to do this assignment in a nice way. The only thing is what is the, that what you have to submit in this assignment. In this assignment, it's a team submission. You have to submit by Blackboard uh, before uh, on this deadline, which is 17th April 11.59 p.m. So at the uh, last day. You have to submit everything to me, including part drawings, assembly drawings, 3D rendering. 3D rendering means what? 3D rendering means nice pictures of your final prototype. Prototype means final design of your product, which you are developing in the course project. Okay. And also the video animation. The lab report will be in word format and all files should be kept very nicely organized in one folder and this folder should be zipped compressed there is grids for putting files in organized way so make sure you read the rubric of this assignment which is given here and this is very important i will explain and go through this rubric as well with you guys inshallah so you only one le team leader should submit the assignment and include the word report separately from the folder so when you submit your assignment put the word report separate and then the folder containing everything uh, separate and compressed one so you, two things you will submit to me so i uh, so i can read the report directly the what is required in your report so what's required in your report is given here i will explain this to you when i will explain the rubric document so here this is what your final lab assignment is about. It is called lab prototype development. So what's in this one? It is a combination of engineering drawings and 3D rendering or pictures of your prototype and video animation. So it's three parts. It is a really big assignment. So you should already been started working on this. I think you are already working on finalizing your prototype, what you will do in the final product. Okay. 3D rendering, a good example is this one. It is a car jack, but you can see it has nice shadows, nice colors, and nice textures to it. How do you put it? Don't ask me. Uh, it is, uh, can be done through SOLIDWORKS Visualize or Photo 360. Or worst case is you give me nice color, uh, different angles of the final assembly. Engineering drawing, we had a separate session on how to do them. And the video animation also we had the separate session to do it. So let's go what is required from you. So here is the same ex uh, uh, instructions. You have to make team submission through Blackboard by 17th April. Submit everything that is required in this lab and in the, on the Blackboard it should be submitted by one team member only. So what is in the report that you will submit to me? So this is the major important part on which your 5% is relying. You have to give me a word file the font size should be 10, the font type should be Arial, paragraph should be single line spacing and there is grades for formatting according to the guideline as well. Okay, So make sure you follow. On the first page, you have to create a cover page with your team details and create an attractive cover page just like a professional product brochure. So maybe you have seen sometimes a brochure for a fridge, for a micro oven, for, a, for any car. How does the product brochure looks like from the cover page? It looks very attractive, so the customer is attracted to it. So make sure you have the information as well as an attractive cover page. On the second page, you have to give signatures of design engineers with their names. This is very important. If, it, if you're missing this requirement, maybe the whole report grade is really badly affected. So make sure you have all the engineers' names emails and photos very important i want to see who designed this product so give your details there 
and give contribution in the design process of the prototype. So maybe make a table where you have all this information and write down what this member or engineer contributed in the prototype development. Maybe some members supported in making part in engineering drawing. Engineering drawing. Maybe the second member supported in making assembly engineering drawing. The third one may be 3D modeling of parts. The fourth may be assembly. The fifth may be making uh, animation of video. So, so it is up to you how you decide it. But give me specific role of each engineer, not in general, but specific in detail that he worked on developing the engineering drawing and the title blocks and these things. Mention very, very clearly which parts drawing or section is done by each student. The work should be distributed evenly in order to judge, judge performance individually. So you should divide the work uh, so that we can um, equally, so we can judge you individually as well from this submission. Okay. So coming, this is page one and page two. Page three is where your work will start. And the page three and four, so you will, you will use these two pages for showing the 3D renderings of product from various angles, which means photos of product from different angles. Use colors to differentiate parts. So use different colors so we can differentiate different parts. How does the 3D renderings look like? I am looking at some quality similar to this. So this is an example of good 3D rendering. You can see this is the last year project we did for solar panel cleaners. You have here a coffee maker. It is all made in SOLIDWORKS. And you have here a drone. How do you do it? This is up to you to find out how to do it, but I am looking for some nice angles. And yes, it should be covering the pictures of 3D rendering from nice angles. Don't give me pictures from an angle that it is not clear what, what did you give me, okay? So 3D renderings of product from various angles. So make it in two pages. Maybe you can add three or four pictures for one page or maybe two pictures for one page. That's why I kept two pages for it. Okay. Page number five. In the page number five, what you will do is you will give me a video animation prototype showing it's working clearly. Okay. So make a table, maybe six or ten, uh, ten uh, pictures there and put the screenshots of video including link and QR code for the animation video uploaded on YouTube. So here you will also learn how to upload videos on YouTube and in the YouTube video link should be available in this page number five. Okay. So first put the screenshots of the video. You can put maybe a few screenshots to show me that the video is working in, in the report. Don't make it very big pictures, make it small ones. But the major thing is give the link and the QR code. How to get the link, how to get the QR code. You guys are much more advanced in technology as compared to my age people. So uh, QR code generator, you can use it online QR code generator and uploaded video should be on the YouTube. So I can access or anyone else can access from your brochure. Okay, it's very clear. Page number five, video animation. Page number six. Now here you will give me that started giving me technical stuff. So six to end is all engineering drawings and the bill of material. So if you remember, I give you some comments on the detailed bill of material in one of the lab assignment, maybe lab number three. Here, give a detailed bill of material for all the components of the part for your final product. Okay. Give me product part number, name of the part, maybe link, bearing or anything, description, weight, how much weight it is, 15 grams, 20 grams like this, what material is this, overall dimensions and estimated cost, okay? Do not forget to give reference for information you take from any source. So maybe you will take the price information from some uh, some area or you will maybe get the product description from one area. So don't forget to give reference. So this one page, page number six, it can go to two pages also. It is up to each project, but I will just keep it page six so it's easier to explain. So this page number six is detailed bill of material. Remember, okay, detailed bill of material. Now, page number seven. Page number seven is assembly engineering drawing, which is collapsed. Remember, collapsed assembly engineering drawing means that everything is fixed together. It is not exploded. With, and the collapsed assembly engineering drawing should show me 
overall dimensions of your product. So if everything you join together, how much space it takes. And then page number eight should show me assembly engineer drawing exploded. Exploded assembly engineering drawing is something like this, which is given here. Okay. You can see here, all the parts are away from each other and it shows me how nicely they are linked together. So parts, fitment and bill of material should be shown here. So this is a small bill of material. You can see here, this is a brief one, but it should be there on both assembly drawings. So we can know which part is what name. Okay. But the detail bill of material is a separate thing in your report. Okay. And lastly, page number nine onwards, because it depends on how many parts you have. You should give me individual parts drawing for each part. I know it will take time. So you are in the working in the group. You can maybe after making 3D model, you can appoint one member for generating part engineering drawings. You will be graded if there is missing table of um, title blocks and the dimensions and these things. Okay. So for that, you have to read the rubrics carefully. But before, let me show you. This is the rubrics, by the way. You can see how detailed is this. But let me show you the engineering drawings. This is an example of good engineering drawings. You can see this is a part engineering drawing where it shows good views, section views, explanation, and the title block is there. You can also see this is a part engineering drawing, which is for, um, uh, sorry, this is assembly engineering drawing showing how this will be linked. It is actually showing the 3D picture also for that. So make sure you develop professional engineering drawings. This is exploded engineering drawing you can see things are taken out of each other and lastly this is also this is collapsed engineering drawing and this is exploded engineering drawing this guy did both in one because there is the part is simpler maybe that's why he did it in one, both in one for me i want it separate so this is exploded remember this is collapsed and this is the short bill of material it is not the detailed one because it does not have price dimension date and material and other things okay and the title block is there also okay this is the quality of engineering drawings we require and here let's go to the rubric now how i will grade you this assignment has 100 marks and straight away you will get from one of the four options here so this can be four out of four it can be three out of four, two out of four, and one out of four if it is poor. So what are the parts? 10% for part engineering drawing. How you will get four marks for the part engineering drawing? All 10 out of 10. You should do the follow this one. Okay. How you will get the collapsed assembly engineering drawings? It should be following this. Okay. Exploded engineering drawing has another 10%. Bill of material has 10%, so it should have list of parts accurately, overall size, everything should be there. Referencing to the part should be according to the drawings you submit to me, okay? So bill of material should have the part number, and this part number should be in the part engineering drawing title block also, okay? This is very careful with that. I want you to fully develop a product professionally, how it is done in industry, okay? Title blocks. Title block has an alone 10%. Why I keep 10% for title block? Because most of the guys miss this part. So all of your title blocks should have necessary information that I need. And for that, you have to read it here. It should have excellent placement and formatting as well. Don't make sure, don't give me a very big title block and it's empty. If you cannot, if the standard title block is not the one suitable for you, you will need to modify the title block according to the information I need. Okay. Then organization of files and report formatting has alone 10%. So if you, what you have to do, all files are organized in folder with proper names. It should be following proper names. Path files, assembly files. So this is, I'm talking about the SolidWorks file. Okay. Remember, drawing files, drawing PDFs. So in addition to drawing file, you need to give me a drawing PDF file also. Word report, 3D renderings, so it means 3D photos. Maybe create a separate folder inside the main folder. And video animation file. No errors in opening the CAD files. I should face no error when I open it. It should not give me any error that the part is missing, that is missing, this is missing. If you, there is error, you will lose these marks. The report is following given formatting guidelines. The report is consistent. Referencing is done where required. 
okay i am very keen on this one uh, make sure your files and submission is really organized okay and then i have 10 percent allo allocated for cad package proficiency which means it shows good understanding and commands to create uh, basically what this is is that i'm going to check if your assembly is having any errors from the 3d modeling perspective and you have used many 3d modeling features like uh, like advanced features like sweep shell in addition to basic features and also your assembly mates are working pro properly so this is basically using um, checking if your 3d model is correctly made or not and then i have 15 percent for renderings of prototype remember the renderings has 15 percent so what you have on page number three and four the good pictures of your prototype should be good enough to cover the displays should the the pictures you choose for your prototype display should be showing me major function of your prototype don't give me a picture which does not uh, make any sense okay it should show key features and functions with no ambiguity to understand the product so if i see the picture i should understand what this product will do okay and the last thing is video animation make sure you upload the video animation on youtube so we can look at the video in the, even if we cannot download the video file and that is all the components in your prototype development rubric okay i will just select the team number and name and give you the marks based on how you submitted your work so guys it is a long work in this one and this team submission hopefully will also help you make the submission for the lecture part because in the lecture also you need to submit the final prototype and the engineering drawings and other stuff so this is in line with what you will submit in lecture so start working on this and majority of your final grades are depending on this part if you finished your prototype which means you make your final product in the whole design process okay this is a accumulation of all the knowledge you learned in the whole course and apply it to develop the final 3d product okay if you have any questions or something is not clear for you in the rubric or in this submission please come back to me um, uh, the link for submitting this is available on blackboard and the deadline is 17th april thank you and good luck in this submission